Greetings everyone, and great here from another H Powers 3 replay. Well, on the top right side as the blue here call you of Robin 7772968. Well, on the south bottom left side as the red Portuguese with Lucas Aurelius. Hmm. I wonder if the Portuguese player will go for Federitas. The last time I cast a Portuguese player, he did not go for Federitas, or he even had the card available to him and blue is muses uh travis is going for the dock and he's going to hire for some fishing boats huh having oh having airport player having access to that initial travis allows you to play a dock in near instantaneously which could give you access to a nice little boom early on if you guys go for fish He's going heavy on the, uh, wood. He's going and spend Fessin's initial food onto his villagers, of course. But he's going straight into fishing boats. Fishing boats do cost semi wood each, so he does have a nice reserve here. He could perhaps peel off some of these villagers onto food, which he is eyeing to do that now. He's just going for a wave of three. He has a calculator. He's going for three fishing boats. <laughs> And I remember doing calculations in the previous game for our fish. Let's see if how well we can do it this game. As I see in the map, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, yeah, that's just a single. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Deposit of fish. That is a lot of fish. So that make it. 5,000, 10,000 food out of sea. Oh, no, Each no, fishing no. Uh, boat will provide 0.67 food per second. And since he's going to queue up three, that will give him two food per second. And that will give him approximately 5,000 seconds worth of food, which is pretty good. That would be approximately how I many minutes? So 5,000, zeros, so 500 divided by 6. If it was 600, it would be 100 minutes worth of food, but it's 5,000. So rough. I can't, don't feel like doing that math. In other words, he probably has well over... Oh, at least one hour's worth of food right now with three fishing boats. You can actually put quite a bit of fishing boats in here. It'd be plenty. I would say try to eye for maybe no more than 30 minutes worth of food. So let's see 10 fishing boats would probably be a good number. And that could give him a Nice, safe, steady stream of food that's safe from most harassment. And Portuguese tend to boom. Let's see, let's take a look at that. Versus heavy infantry, so he has anti-heavy infantry deck. Village villagers, wood coin, all resources, archers, tomahawks, war hut, war hut, uh, horsemen, new ways. Ah, no conservative tactics. All resources, forest prowlers, tomahawks, war hut combat, musket riders, county horsemen, more horsemen. Cali, Udine, Shone, Woodworking, Renegade French, All Resources Infinite, Tomahawks, Kindy Horseman, and Light Cannon. Against the Portuguese, who's not selected a deck yet and has two shipments available. You have a War Hut being put on here because he aged up. In fact, he went for fishing boats first and aged up faster than his opponent. I mean, did he go for the fast age up uh, council member? Possibly. The Portuguese now bringing shipments here. No Federitas. Wow. Bow 1v1. So he's going for crossbows. When his opponent was expecting him to go for heavy infantry. To be fair, Portuguese crossbows is pretty uncommon. Either way, he has homestead. Town militia. Economic 3. Woodwood. Coin. Crossbows. Fence arsenal. Fencing school. Treaty. What the... Maybe the church research is important there. Wood coin. Constable. Improves the uh, hit points and damage of all Portuguese melee units. Interesting. 
uh, Casadors, Team Gunpowder Industry Hit Points, Dragoon Combat, Organ Guns, Fort Refrigeration, Wood, High Command, Heavy Cannon, Heavy Fortifications, Factory, and Factory. I guess whatever affects the church would potentially provide him the crossbow research. Horseman does go down there. This villager needs to does get out of there. Both tens are centers are firing. Nope, this one's not firing. Only this one does go and throw some villagers in the other town center so it gets firing. It has a shipment of coin on the field, both the shipment of wood, so he has quite a bit of rates he needs to unpack. This lady will go down. Shouldn't be available. He sees the horseman. He saw the tomahawks. I'm going for crossbows. Be good versus the tomahawks, but not as if we're versus the horseman. He doesn't have barracks on the field. He's going for wood first, and maybe eyeing for a barracks. Yep, he does have all his resources collected on up. He needs a bit more food to get the age up. A couple long huts there. We've got, of course, the tribal marketplace here. Those just do collect the same raid against around tribal markets. Yes, they do. I know that the tribal markets mostly make it last longer. I really just would really wish that the Place in the tribe market was actually on top of the coin deposit, like mountain monasteries, rather than just being next to it. This also is free. Eh, nitpicky, probably from my perspective. He does have some more fishing boats, very nice. Horseman does fall back there. Oh yeah, this map does also have uh, natural salt mines, which they do have great gold storage, coin storage, one ten thousand coin. That's a gold down there, and more gold down there. House goes down. Church has been completed. He's now going for the exile prince. And over here, we do have the wise women, so both of them aging up the relatively same time. The Iroquois have 32 villagers, the Portuguese have 26. Overall, blue is dictating the course of this game. Help me. Now the Portuguese players advance next age. The Iroquois eyeing for guild nets, making his fishing bones a little bit better. We have a fort wagon now being pulled up by the Portuguese, eyeing for some defense, not eyeing for the orc guns. He's fighting against cavalry, so it's probably better to go for the fort. Local kitty cats will be going on down. Wait, I thought Panthers were South American, not uh, African. Am I crazy? All resource crate. And of course, more villagers. Efficient boats comes now to 0.77. 
And now the four is going on up. The third town center is now uh, going on up four as well. Has he got the church improvement? No, he's not. He's going for a shipment of coin. He may be eyeing for fast imperial or non imperial age, industrial age. We've got this Travis push way forward, as I think that's maybe the age of Travis. And now he's eyeing for additional war hut. Way four, they will find the fort. That one gets killed off. This one will be next. Over fort there, a handful of tomahawks will not be adequate. We have the Iroquois player aging up. Going for light can be very useful. Got the church and now going for the tycoon. Tycoon will give him some coin. And over here, we do have the warrior, which is what war huts. A good number of war huts wouldn't be half bad. Build it down. A tomahawk to the back of the head. Explorer could use a uh, crack shot. He's not going for a very good coat. Oh, I should have gotten that a little bit sooner to get the village a bit more healthy. Travis here. He's not bringing Shimon of Light Cannon or Siege Workshop. Very nice. I guess that wasn't the warrior doesn't do does something different for the and give you war of Travis because after all, you got the Travis uh, caravan airs. By the way, he will have access to some light cannon, one of the, in my opinion, one of the best siege units oh, no, in this entire okay. game. Start picking away against the fort. The fort has a range of 26. The cannon have a range of 32. There's Age up to give him another covered wagon. He can perhaps bring a massive wave of militia in order to help overrun his opponent. Doesn't have enough coin. Has plenty of food and wood. No barracks. He does have, of course, the fort itself, but that is a massive number of light cannon. You know, Iroquois are just going to get a good number of light cannon in age 4. They're good versus everything. And now we do have whatever this is, Bornsakia. I don't know what that is. It may cost quite a bit of food. Villagers getting hit by the leather cannons or light cannons. I looks like the villagers may be to stop. They're not trying to stamp the cannon. Ah, that may have been a game of shipment of wood for that church improvement. But that was definitely researched in. And now we do have Order of the Tower and the Sword. I'm not familiar what that one is. We got another. Oh, we've got another town center down here. And I do hear Oh! We got Order Knights. There are ranged light light cavalry. Dragoon variants. Do have pretty good damage. And not many negative uh, multipliers there. Tomox may just want to go and order attack and melee. They do have decent health. He is going to kill off all the heavy cannon there, but that's oh no, he does not kill off on the light cannons. The town center does do less damage versus his artillery as well. But all that for a single church improvement was not enough. Going for a heavy cannon now, trying to go for a pair of barracks. He has plenty of wood. So I'm not so sure what he's planning to do. He needs more food. Those are trying to collect some more food, but he won't be able to. The horse will rip them apart. 
the militia that I'll pull them out. Yeah, I don't. Th I think the Portuguese uh, put too many eggs in one basket and was not successful. Stable mill. I'm gonna collect, uh, collect these berry bushes. Be better than being dead. I go probably go inside that town center. Now these villagers being hunted down. There's a heavy cannon, which will be useful, but won't give him a guaranteed survival chance. The Portuguese player is currently pulling out no more villages because he's out of food at the moment, so all the additional town center and looks like the Portuguese back to the game now. Not sure what his plan was. Interesting concept, but overall wasn't very good. This is Anna Gray saying, thank you for watching, and I'll on to the next replay.